two weeks before her father died from stage four prostate cancer, Katrina Remaker's family found out he had BRCA2, a genetic mutation that increases the likelihood of developing ovarian, breast, prostate and pancreatic cancers and is 10 times more common among men and women of Ashkenazi Jewish descent. It was, it was hard. We were all surprised. Without a family history of cancer, Remaker says she was shocked to find out her father was a carrier and about a year later that she was as well. It's just a lot to process at the beginning um, and I think the beginning is actually the scariest part in some ways. Uh, once you learn more and know more and start down your journey, I think it gets better. Remaker was determined to reduce her risk, choosing to get a mastectomy to remove her breast tissue before the recommended age of 40. And in the coming years, she plans to remove her ovaries too. I think that's going to be a, a difficult day when it happens. With the goal of spreading awareness about the increased risk for men and women with Jewish ancestry, Remacher and her mother Jane founded the nonprofit BRCA in BC and are now teaming up with BC Cancer's Hereditary Cancer Program to expand free genetic testing regardless of family cancer history. Some of these cancers are potentially preventable, particularly in the context of if we were to find an, a hereditary gene that and if one is at higher risk of ovarian cancer, for example, there are preventive measures, same with breast cancer. A lot of times when we talk to especially young people who we want to encourage to consider getting tested, they, one of the things they say is, you know, cost and ease of access is a big challenge. She hopes by sharing her family's experience, it will encourage others to consider getting tested before having to lose a loved one. Although it can be scary to know that you have a gene like this, it also just empowers you to have a lot of tools that you can then use to manage your risk. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, Vancouver.